Good day, everybody. Welcome to some Dune Imperium Digital. In today's video, we're doing something a little bit different. Um, so this is the second event that Direwolf has put out for the game. Um, it's kind of like a tournament mode of sorts, although it doesn't really work exactly like a tournament. Um, but it is a competitive player versus player mode. Um, and so the idea here is players can play up to six games. So you play six games and you get points based on how well you do in each game. So if you get first place in a game, that's worth 10 points. And so if you get first place in six games, you get 60 points. Um, and your points decrease the lower your placement goes. Um, so something that makes this a little bit different um, than a normal game is, at least for me, when I'm playing a normal game of Dune Imperium, I'm only playing for first. I don't care. It's either first or lose, basically, to me. Like, I don't care about getting second or third or fourth. To me, that doesn't make any difference. Um, <clears throat> and so I'm making plays that are only about, like, what gives me a chance to win. And I'm not making plays like, oh, well, let me at least get a point here so I can come second. However, in this mode, um, it makes a big difference whether you come second or third or fourth. And so it's not just about getting first place. So that changes the strategy a little bit sometimes. I'm not sure exactly how, but there might be certain points where there's a move that let's say a 10% chance of success where if it works, I'll win. But if it doesn't work, it puts me in a bad spot. In a normal game, um, I would take that 10% chance. However, here, if it's 10% chance of winning or 90% chance of like coming fourth versus like a safer play that might get me second, it just changes the way that things are weighed up. Um, all right, so this one also has a special rule. So the game is called War Chest. Um, and in this event, players will draft their leaders. Okay, so you pick your leader by draft. But here's the weird part. At the end of each round, the player or players with the most Solari will recruit a troop to their garrison. So whoever has the most Solari, and if there are people tied, then they both get this bonus. You put a troop from your supply into your garrison. So that changes things a little bit early on. Um, people who have played the uh, skirmish modes might be familiar with these kinds of little rule tweaks. So, you know, it means that if in the early rounds, if you're going to like secure contract or wealth and you're getting yourself some Solari or if you're Illabon and you use your signet ring, um, that might, it kind of increases the value of those kinds of moves early on and encourage you to kind of hold on to some Solari as opposed to spending it all. We'll see exactly how that plays out. All right, so with that, we're just gonna join and see if we can get a game here. So let's click join and uh, see if we can get something happening. Ready to play, okay, play. Does that mean I'm in or does that mean I'm in the queue? Searching. Okay, that, that was instantaneous. Bludgeon, waiting for changelings to choose their leader. Okay, so I'm going to be the third to choose, which means I'll be the second to play. Okay, Helena being the first pick here. Um, I don't have a particular preference right now. We'll just see what happens. Okay, it's down to me. You know what? I haven't played a beast game in a long time. Let me play the beast. Um, the beast also starts with one bonus Solari, so that might end up mattering in terms of giving me some extra troops. We'll see how it goes. All right, and the first conflict is also for Solari, so this carries a bit of extra value. Early Solari is always good anyway because it helps you get your Swordmaster, your High Council seat, uh, but now it also will help you get troops if you're able to sit on it. Taking a look at the Imperium row here, we've got a pretty strong couple of cards anyway. We've got Kwisatz Haderach sitting there. We've got Carriol, Firm Grip, Gurney Halleck, and Dr. Yue. All quite good cards. 
Uh, looking at my hand here, I have my signet ring. I have a diplomacy. How did he have water? Oh yeah, everybody starts with water. <laughs> right. Okay, so use the signet ring to go there, getting the three spice that way. Um, I think I'm gonna hit up wealth here and yeah let me do that so sitting on three solari if somebody goes to secure contract then they could tie me for the most and we would both get um, a troop now i would like to actually commit a troop to the conflict here uh, when my turn comes around, I'm going to want to use the Signet Ring. And we'll see where it goes. It could theoretically go to Secure Contract to get more Solari. Um, but then I wouldn't be able to deploy any troops. So if I want to deploy troops, then I would want to go to one of these city spaces, ideally. Okay, secure contract. So right now, Changelings and I are tied for the most Solari. Um, I think I probably want to send the Signet Ring to Carthag. Get myself an early entry card. All right, well, so much for that plan, right? The Selma Land kind of puts the kibosh <laughs> on that dream, uh, which I guess I should have foreseen. But um, that's... That's fine. Um, yeah, let me hit up Carthag. Do I want to draw a card? If I were to draw a convincing argument, three, four, five, it would be able to get me a carry-all, but um, yeah, let me just do this. Okay, that, that could come in handy. Let me get my troop from my signet ring. And um, I will deploy. I'd almost rather have second place here than first. Um, so I'm tempted to just put in two. See if my dagger helps me out. I'm just going to put in two for now. <clears throat> so Paul could come in over the top here. Yeah, and he does. All right, so we're going to tie for second, it looks like. So we'll each get two Solari. It's not ideal. I probably should have thrown in an extra troop there. Um, but it is what it is. Okay, with three, um, I like Dr. Yu. I think it's a pretty good one coster. And then we'll pick up an Arrakis Liaison.
All right, neither of us, I mean, I do have an entry card, but I can't use it. Two daggers from Paul means that if I had thrown in that extra troop, I still wouldn't have won. But I think it would have been worth doing just to try to ensure getting second. But it's all right. I've got more troops for later. Um, it'll be all right. So that'll put me to five, which is still not bad because that means secure contract gets me to eight, which gets me in Swordmaster range. Um, but I probably won't be able to actually get the Swordmaster next turn because... Um, Memnon here is already sitting on eight Solari, and so, you know, he's probably going to snap that up. <clears throat> Depending on how things go, I may, I may try to get the High Council seat, because there are some pretty good cards sitting here. Um, you know, obviously Kwisatz Haderach foremost there, but Gurney also quite strong. All right. Okay, do I want to get the secure contract? Right now. Alternatively, yeah, I can't get the spice and sell Melange this turn, so. I think I will do this. And like I said, I I shouldn't be able to actually buy the Swordmaster because I imagine that <laughs> Memnon is about to do that. So I'll be blocked. But it should mean that I'll have the most Solari um, at the end of the turn, which will give me a bonus troop. So that's not bad. Um, but I again, I am still considering getting the High Council seat early here. Which... Maybe means I won't have the most Solari at the end of the round. But. We'll see. I mean, I would like to play the Seek Allies rather than have it kind of kick around. But... Yeah, I think I think the idea here is if for some crazy reason the Swordmaster is available, then I'll do it. If it isn't, I think I will get the High Council seat, which will delay the Swordmaster a bit, but there's just a lot of juice here, and uh, ah, I just wouldn't mind getting a hold of some of it. All right, Helena going in for this conflict. Okay, well, that's out, but that's also another good one. A lot of good stuff here. Yeah, so I think I will. Okay, there's the Swordmaster play. Um, I am going to get the High Council seat here. And I won't be able to get anything great this turn. Um, but... Is that the play or do I hang on to it for Swordmaster? Maybe, you know what? I changed my mind. I changed my mind. Um, be, yeah, I guess actually I, I would have had enough to get a five coster. I think I miscalculated my numbers there, but even so, I think I'd rather get my Swordmaster next turn. Rather than potentially... If I get the High Council seat now, um, it'll take me another like couple of turns to get the Swordmaster. Where if I get the Swordmaster next turn, it can kind of start paying for itself earlier. So 
Um, I, I made that call. And also, I just want to play the Seek Allies while I have it, kind of get it out of the deck, um, rather than having a zero... Where is it? Trash cards. Anyways, rather than having a zero persuasion um, card kind of clogging up the deck... And this also makes sure that I have the most Solari and it'll get me that bonus troop. For whatever that's worth. <laughs> okay, I have a really bad feeling that Helena is actually going to be able to pick up this Kwisatz Haderach this turn. She set it aside. She got the bonus persuasion. Now, maybe not. Maybe it's just a matter of getting that out of there because she can't get it and she doesn't want anyone else to get it. That's totally legit and totally possible. And maybe she's just getting enough to pick up one of these awesome cards. Okay. All right, with my three here, do I want this Chris knife? Well... Having another Freeman Access card isn't the worst thing. Getting a bit of extra Solari isn't the worst thing, uh, given the way that this rule works. But I don't know. I might just want more Arrakis Liaison, to be honest. I am nowhere down here. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I don't. I don't feel great about it because um, I just like getting more persuasion into the deck, especially with these amazing cards sitting here. But um, ooh, look at this! But at the moment, I only have diplomacy that can take me to a faction space. So getting another one in there, I think, could be handy. Uh, of course, I do have the Dispatch and Envoy ready for, you know, when it's needed, if there's a crucial moment for it. Seven. Okay, so not Kwisatz Haderach. Wait a minute, what? Oh, yeah. Right, because she can get it for one cheaper. So that used to actually display the lower price there, but it doesn't, it shows the full price because technically the price is still, it's still an eight cost card. It's just you can get it for one less, which technically speaking sometimes matters like um for example there's a card there's an entry card that lets you um acquire a card that costs three or less from the imperium row um and i was tricked in a game one time i was helena and i reserved a four cost card and it showed the little three price and so i used my entry card to get it um but it didn't work because it even though it showed that the cost was three, the cost was actually technically still four. So uh, anyway, anyway, the point is Kwisatz Haderach um, has been uh, picked up by Changeling very early on in the game. So that's a bit, that's a bit scary. Okay, Opulence, whoa, Chome Directorship now, holy frig. This is a, quite a monstrous Imperium row so far this game. Um, <laughs> that high council seat. That high council seat. A lot of spice built up down here. Desert power coming up. Okay. So. Um, that could be a sword master. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be the Swordmaster. Um, I technically don't need to do it 
immediately. I could do something else first. Um, I'm thinking about using the Chris knife to go to still suits, get myself a water, get myself that faction bump, then do the Swordmaster, and then I guess Diplomacy probably. Depending on how that works out, if I'm able to do all of that, if I send the Diplomacy to Wealth, I could potentially have enough for the High Council seat next turn. Okay. Melange being sold for the second time here. So he's definitely looking to get the High Council seat this round, which I totally understand. Um, I don't have to worry about him blocking me on Swordmaster because he already has the Swordmaster. So I think I'll do this. And um, I might as well deploy some troops here. <sighs> Two is a little bit weird because I, I'm not going to have this dagger to back me up. So, like, I'm at best going to try to get a tie. Um, maybe I hold off, just put in one. I'll just put in one. Big spice grab for Paul Atreides there. Paul Atreides loves his spice. <clears throat> so that's a nice snag. Selective breeding, okay. Well, that makes sense. I mean, if, you're, if you've got a Kwisatz Haderach in your deck, then what you want to be doing is trashing cards and drawing cards. So that's totally, uh, totally a good play for Helena there. Uh, wild card, 71, I imagine, is going to be looking at this High Council seat here, if he can. Okay, Mentat. Yeah, okay. Gonna activate that firm grip. So we can pay two Solari to go up with any faction except the Emperor there. Chooses to do Freeman. All right. Well, let me get that Swordmaster. I mean, I could take the High Council seat just to block him, uh, but I'm not doing that. I want to get the Swordmaster here. And, um, and then I'm going to be looking to put the Diplomacy up here to Wealth to get me to five Solari so that I'm ready next turn to get the High Council seat, and it also should, if Wildcard does get the High Council seat, it should, oh man, um, leave me with the highest amount of Solari so that I can get a free troop. Will also push me closer to this Emperor's Alliance. Nobody else is even close at the moment. Um, people do have Imperial cards, right? There's a Firm Grip. Uh, Wildcard has a Firm Grip. And I think also Opulence.
And yeah, getting getting an alliance would be good also to power up my signet ring. I hadn't really been thinking about that, but that is something that's good to do with the beast if you can. The earlier you can get you can get an alliance, the more you can the more troops you can get out of your signet ring. All right, so this did work out. That is going to be that. Memnon did throw in a troop. He's got another agent still, so theoretically he could... Well, I'm not sure how he could get more. I guess he could go to Hardy Warriors, potentially, if he wanted to throw in more. Um, so my one troop likely is just going to be worth a single spice, um, but that's not, that's not bad. Oh, no. Oh, my God, Helena. Helena just getting the bomb cards here. What's there to consider? Yeah, Chome Directorship. Dear Lord. Bang, 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 bang. All right, Helena is definitely the scariest one here just based on the cards that have been picked up. Okay, there's the High Council seat grabbed. We'll see what wild card is able to buy. Okay. Well, with my two, I will get a liaison here. That's that. Uh... I had no swords, he has no swords, so we're both going to tie. Unless he plays an entry card, we're both going to just get the one spice out of that. Which is fine. And, uh, okay, he opted for the carry-all over the Stilgar, which is interesting. Hmm... Pretty tight game here. But um, it's looking pretty good for Changeling here. Not only being able to pick up some incredible cards, but also winning some early points. Okay. All right, I finally have some persuasion here. If I pick up the high council seat, it's going to be quite a lot. I could even potentially buy a spice must flow if I want to do that. Um, I might even want to use my dispatch and envoy to send the signet ring up here because theoretically... I can resolve the effect in whatever order I want. So I should be able to get the Alliance first, then trigger the Signet Ring to get two troops. Uh-huh. <laughs> Eyes everywhere. Is anyone else ready for a High Council seat? No, not at this time. Huh. The issue with my plan at the moment is I might not be able to actually deploy any troops, but uh Okay, so this should work. Okay, so I take the Alliance first. Now this should be worth two. Great. And I get two from there. Here's two more. So my garrison is very well stocked. Um, my troops, though, are <laughs> so far just hanging out there. And uh, 
Hmm. Thirteen Solari on Paul. I assume that's going to be a Swordmaster. Could be a High Council seat. I'm thinking what I might want to do here. I can't really get to Spice Must Flow. After all. Um, so, if I can, I think I want to send this liaison to Carthag and actually throw in some troops, put them to work here. We'll see if it's available, because that's kind of my only combat space here. I can't go to Siege Tabor still. Carthag is now gone. It's gonna be hard for me to throw in troops. I mean, I could go to, you know, Haga Basin, I guess. Um, the issue now is if I want to get the High Council seat, I kind of have to do it now because I think Helena is going to... Well, Helena might go for the Swordmaster, I guess. Paul could get the Swordmaster, then Helena could get the Swordmaster. I think I better just do it and hope that I can go here to throw in troops. I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, now Helena can still do it because she's not blocked at Landsrad spaces. <clears throat> Alright, well at least it's a, a weak reveal for a change, so she can't actually grab that Stilgar. Um, maybe I'll be able to get that Gurney Halleck. We'll see. Okay, so... Uh, there's no way for me to win this conflict. If I go here, I can put in two troops, but it's just two. Um, maybe still worth doing, though, honestly. Oh, I can't even go there. I would have to go to Research Station? That's pretty rough. Although, hold on, if I go to Research Station, that drops me down to six, seven, eight. Uh, maybe. Maybe I get another one and I can actually buy a Spice Must Flow. Is that worth blowing all of my stuff though? That's a little bit sketch. It also means Gurney won't get shuffled in if I get him. I'm going to try it. Okay, so it did get me to Spice Must Flow money. It puts my troops to use... At least maybe I take those. You know, if we tie, then neither of us gets it. Ugh. Okay, so I wasn't getting the gurney anyway. Power play. Would I rather have a power play than a spice must flow? Would I rather have a power play than a spice must flow? I mean, it's probably better.
But I'm just going to get the Spice Must Flow. The power play quite possibly could be better. I mean, it's definitely... I shouldn't say definitely, but it's very likely to be worth a point. Um, and potentially takes a point away from someone else. So in that sense, it's it's pretty powerful. Um, the Spice Must Flow, though, is a point that I don't have to play any cards to get, right? The Power Play costs an action to use. The Spice Must Flow doesn't. I don't know. I don't know. The Power Play quite, quite possibly could have been a better card. It would have also let me get something else at the same time. All right, we tie, we get some water and some Solari. Helena gets a bonus troop to the garrison. Uh, what are we looking at here? Okay, so I don't necessarily have to play the Chris Knife. I could save it for the Freeman Bond. Um, where do I want my diplomacy to go? Maybe I grab this spice while it's here, honestly. I'd have to play the Chris Knife to do it, which is kind of kind of not great because that means I don't get the the Freeman Bond ability. I only get that if I reveal it. But, you know, spice is going to be important soon. Oh, dear. You know what? I'm going to do this. I want an intrigue card. I want to throw some troops in. Oh, that's a nice card to have. See what I draw. Um, basically there, I just decided that I, I didn't like not having an Intrigue card, and I was considering sending Diplomacy to Secrets, um, but I wanted to be able to deploy some troops, and the last couple turns I've kind of been blocked from doing so. That Reinforcements may come in very handy someday. Um... I'm still thinking about this spice. Oh, Helena going in here. Interesting. Hayliner. <laughs> All right. All right, here comes the big Hayliner play. Paul already at six victory points here. With a couple points still to get on that track. Uh, I really want to use that for the reveal, but I really want some spice. Now, it looks like nobody else is really that interested in it. Maybe I can hold off 
and get it next turn for four spice, that would be a lot better. I think I'm going to try to do that. Um, get another Intrigue card. Okay, good to know. Yeah. Yeah. Do I want to rally troops? kind of do. The only issue is that... I don't know. It takes away the power of this reinforcements because I'll be out of Solari then. Maybe it's better not to do it. Just hang on to the Solari, be able to keep that. Do I want to hit up Hardy Warriors for some reason? I could throw in four troops. It seems kind of like an overcommitment. I'm just going to do it. So I decided to do it because I'm probably going to get at least two Solari here. I would just need to get another one to be able to activate the reinforcements. Now that one end up, may end up being kind of a pain to get. So perhaps not the best. Um, additionally, I'm going to get two swords here to tie. If I'd held on to the dagger, I might have been able to eke out second place and gotten an entry card out of it. Maybe. I'm not feeling, uh... I'm not feeling confident about this game at all. Um, I think it. I think it's going to be very difficult for me to win it. Um, I'm not in a great position to get to Highliner when the time is right. Short on Spice. I don't have a great deck at all. People have cards like Kwisatz Haderach. So Helena basically has just decided to forget about the Swordmaster, which um, I respect. When you get an early Kwisatz Haderach, you don't necessarily need it. So, I don't know. It looks like I'm fighting for third place maybe in this game. We'll see. It's never over until it's over. But uh, it's not feeling great. I've got, I'm one point away here. I'm going to get that point on reveal. I'm one point away from the Bene Gesserit.
Okay. All right, with four. It's Freeman camp or shifting allegiances, I think. I think Freeman Camp is the way. Two intrigue cards, both of which require resources I don't currently have. Another power play pops up. Three intrigue cards. Does she want to do anything here? Oh, okay. Stages an incident, gets a victory point, and I guess I'll get second, which is pretty nice. But this is getting a little bit out of hand here. <sighs> Mentat goes to Memnon. At least I get an entry card. Let's see what we have. Ooh, that's pretty nice. Already set up for another Hayliner when the time comes. And a demand respect. Where is that going? Huh. Indeed. Is that going to do anything for me? Not really right now. So we're still going to hang on to that. I think maybe I just grab this two spice. On the other hand, Arakeen. Mentat is pointless. It doesn't seem like there's a way for me to get Spice Must Flow. I have a lot of Intrigue cards, which is a little bit dangerous here, because if I win, I'm going to end up with two more. I don't want to use this yet. I don't really want to use this yet. 
It's a little rough having all of these entry cards that cost resources. Oh, he does go for the Swordmaster finally in round six. That's interesting. Okay, big gurney play. Big gurney play here. So, okay. You know, maybe water into research station might not be the worst. Draw a bunch of cards. Four, six, eight, nine. It might actually get me to Spice Must Flow if I do that. It means I don't get to use the Signet Ring, which is kind of a bummer. But that might be good. Do I want two <sighs> intrigue cards here? I don't know, but He wants the secure contract because he's probably going to trigger an opulence this turn. <clears throat> this is quite dangerous. I'm kind of just banking on the idea that I'm going to get some entry cards I can burn. Because I'm going to be going last next turn. It's going to give people a lot of chances to hit up secrets and steal from me. Um, but... <sighs> okay, wait. That's going to put me down to three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's actually not even going to be enough for Spice Must Flow. I miscalculated that. So, I'm not sure. Okay, I can't even do that anyway. Can't even do that anyway. What does that mean then? Do I just grab some spice? I don't want to sell Melange. I don't really want another Intrigue card. I think I just pick up this Spice. It's a bit awkward. Uh, I don't think so. I think maybe I just sit on that. Somebody else wants to come over the top, you know, they can they can have at it. Yeah, it's looking pretty third place-ish here. It's feeling pretty third place-ish. Um, so in my reveal turn, I think I'll probably have to use the bribery. Um, I'm not sure yet if I want to also use the Sleeper Must Awaken. It might depend on whether or not it looks like I'm going to actually win the conflict.
I want to have the spice available for a potential Hayliner play. I'm not super likely to actually get a Hayliner, unfortunately. Um, because I've, you know, these are the next three cards I'm drawing. The only card I have to go to a Hayliner is a Diplomacy. I only have one of those, so it's pretty unlikely uh, that that's going to work. Is this guy... Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, that's pretty bad. There's that... Well, I mean, that was the other power play I didn't get. All right, so that's that's really bad. I might be in fourth position now. Still looking like I'm probably going to win this. So I think I better... Maybe I better just burn both. Maybe I can take that alliance back, actually. If I take the Emperor's Alliance and I win this, I can take it back. He has seven cards. He could theoretically have a whole bunch of swords, so it's like eight to six. That might not even I might not even win. So that'd be a complete waste. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm going to do this. I don't really like it, but... Four. Uh, I didn't have much time to think about that. I don't know if I necessarily really wanted that card, but it's a very versatile card. Right, so there's the extra point for Paul, bumping him up to eight. Yeah, so that would have been a bad idea to try to take that point back. It wasn't going to happen. Um, there were just too many ways for him to come back. Obviously, having another agent to play is a big one. Double cross, what are you doing? Oh, is he taking Paul out? So he gets zero? What? Why? I guess worried about an entry card. Fair enough. Well, I get one entry card and one spice. Not the most exciting of cards, but that's what I got. Right. I have the troops, but I don't have the means of really using them. I guess hardy warriors if I can. Um, maybe a reinforcements signet ring. I mean, I, I have the potential to throw in a lot of troops here. I can't hayliner, but looks like nobody else can either. So there's actually a chance that I can win this conflict. Um, priority one is hardy warriors before somebody else does it. Um... I'm going to want to get three Solari if I can for reinforcements. Oh, okay. Uh, Memnon has quit. Very unfortunate. Um... Quitting does cost you a point. You get one point for fourth place. You get zero points if you're replaced by AI. It's a very small incentive to not quit, besides the obvious one, which is just don't quit games. 
Um, but it's something. I didn't notice exactly when that happened. So I'm going to hit up the Hardy Warriors here and um, load in some troops. They got me one Solari, but in order to be able to trigger this, I'm still going to need to hit up Secure Contract. Which is going to be sort of a suspicious play when I do that, I think. Um, I have a I have a really good chance of winning this conflict. Which you know I absolutely have to keep it out of the hands of these two. Uh, either one of them wins, it's game over. But if I can win it. It puts me in the running. It puts me in the running. It gives me a chance to maybe win this game. Um, or at least maybe, you know, at least maybe beat the AI now. I mean, it's mostly not an AI. That was a real player up until just recently. Rally troops, okay. Uh, so unfortunately, there's no... There's not going to be any Spice Must flow happening here. What is being blocked now? This could be important. Arakeen. Okay. It's blocked right now. Um, so, yeah, I think the Solari is the right, the right play. And then the next time it'll be a Signet Ring to load in a whole bunch of stuff. Five troops left in the supply. Three. Two from the ring. That'd be everything. I think that's the play. Now the tricky thing here is if he goes to Arakeen, I'm actually blocked from going to another combat space. Um, because I can't go to any of these. Maybe I should have done this first because no one else is really probably that excited about Secure Contract. Um, I did it that way because I thought I had more flexibility with the ring, but now that I'm thinking about it, it was uh, riskier than I should have. Yeah. Yeah. The reinforcements might still save me, but yeah, Irakeen now, so I'm kind of crap. Discard a card or lose a deployed troop? Oh, no. Well, the convincing argument isn't doing much for me. That was, ooh, I may have cost myself the game by that, by doing that, because now I can't put any more troops. I mean, I still have the reinforcements, which might, might do it. Where do I play this signet ring? Just a hall of oratory, I guess, that's rough. Uh, 
Oh, man. I have to count on my Intrigue card saving me here. So, I mean, I guess it's Hall of Oratory. I might as well. It's the only thing I can do, really. I don't want to sell my Melange. Oh, yeah, and I don't have an Alliance anymore. Uh... So there's no need to do that yet. I can do that on my reveal. Hopefully, nobody else can really do much. I'm not sure if the Kwisatz Haderach is still available. That would be a big problem if it is. I don't like this thinking. I don't like this thinking. Oh boy. Well, I at least have the Spice Tiebreaker for third place if it comes down to that. I think there's a Kwisatz Haderach happening right here. To Karthag. Yeah, this reinforcement is probably not going to do it now. I mean, surely she just throws in everything. Why wouldn't you? Fuck. Fuck. That was a really dumb thing I did uh, not yeah not using the signet ring to throw in troops first leaving this thing for second um, so now if I throw yeah it's game over now if I throw in three troops what does it do for me nothing I mean I guess maybe the intrigue card could can't really even do anything for me. Fourteen, seventeen, yeah. I mean, there's no reason not to do it, but it's not really going to work. Huh? Oh, for fuck's sake. I have to click reveal first. I hate this card. At least you can undo it. All right, well, I'll do this. Uh, you know, maybe Memnon has some subtracting troops from the other side. Probably not. No need to get anything here. Yeah, this is not happening. So, if I had used the Signet Ring to go somewhere, I could have thrown in, like, at least three troops plus the three more. Um, probably would have done it. Well, <laughs> tie for second. At least take the entry card away from him, which, you know, could potentially be important in terms of getting third place, right? Um, does he have a way of scoring off an endgame card? I guess not. All right, well, that's a little bit sad. That's a little bit sad. I definitely um, I definitely misplayed that last turn. And uh, costs, it cost me the game. Now, could I have won? I'm not so sure. But... All right, third place. So game one of the event gets me third place. It's better than fourth. It's better than fourth. Um, but yeah, I definitely blew it. <laughs> All right. It happens. Um, it happens. So that's game one of six.
Um, I'm gonna stop this one here. I'm gonna release each game individually um, rather than all at once. So it's probably gonna be like, you know, one game a day for a few days or maybe one game every other day. I haven't exactly decided. But uh, anyway, this is game one. Stay tuned for the others. Eventually they'll all be in a playlist here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoy my videos and everything, feel free to subscribe. Um, let me know how you think I did this game. Click like, you know, set, tell all your friends, write an article to the editor, um, you know, get a tattoo. Don't do any of those things except maybe the subscribe and comment and like. Anyways, that's it for game one. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.